Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to cover the Black & Decker 12 cup thermal programmable coffee maker. I'm going to show how to make a pot, as well as show how to set the clock and programmable timer. As well as going over some of the other features on this coffee maker. Now at the time I record this video, I, I purchased this on Amazon by the way. Uh, the price is $39.99, but I just went ahead and had a look on Walmart and it's $45. Bucks, so, you know, the prices do jump around a little bit. And uh, let me just give you guys the model number real quick. This is, the model number is CM2035B. All right, we're going to get into it. Let's show, show you guys the usual. A little effort to pop that lid, I guess because it's new. So you got the removable brew basket. And the shower head, the spout, that's interesting. It's a nice design. I'm not sure if that rotates. Even stream shower head technology, as Black & Decker calls it. And what that does, that disperses the water over the coffee grounds a little bit more evenly. We'll be taking a look at that when it's done brewing. There's the water reservoir. And there's the water level indicator on the side of the unit. And here's your 12 cup thermal carafe. It's got some weight to it. Pretty good quality, stainless steel. Now an important thing to make note of is when you remove the lid of the carafe, do not pull it up by this lever that will break you want to twist the lid and then it just pops off all right so we're going to be making a full 12 cup pot put the lid back on match that arrow with the unlocked padlock icon and you just twist it to the lock position that's secure now this takes a 8 to 12 cup size basket style filter this is what you want to use and for the 12 cups I'm going to use 12 tablespoons okay so now for setting the clock let's plug it in all right time flash is 12 o'clock if you watch my other videos you know what I'm about to do hour minute button and the first thing you do is you set the current time now in this example, let's just say 4.10 p.m. So you head over to the hour button. Now I believe it's an a.m. because there's no p.m. indicator. Once we go to 12 o'clock, you see that p.m. indicator light up. So we'll go to 4.10 p.m. Head over to the minute button. And now the current time is set. Now to set the programmable timer, head over to the program button, press that till it flashes 12 o'clock and then you set the time you wish for it to go off in the morning. Let's set it for 6.30 a.m. I mean if you hold the minute button down it scrolls a lot quicker. Confirm that it's 6.30 a.m. so you don't, you don't see the p.m. icon and the clock is now set to go off, or I should say the time is now set to go off at 6.30 a.m. And the last step would be to press that auto button and you see that clock icon show up. If you don't see that icon, it will not start in the morning, even though you set the time for it to start in the morning. So make sure you see that. Now this strong button, that's for your brew strength. Right now it's on regular. If you press it once, you'll see a bar show up. That's for a more stronger cup. You press it again, you see two bars, and that's for a, a real bolt cup, according to the manual. And if you want to get it off that, go back to regular, just press it again. So that's strong, and that's bold. We're going to keep it on the boldest setting. One to four cups, that's if you're doing one to four cups. If you press that, you'll just see that icon show up. But we're not going to do that for this example. And that canceled. I'm glad I did that, because that canceled the brew strength option so we'll just have to press that again and that's pretty much how you use the programmable timer well I should say the control panel excuse me and one last thing to show is that power button that's an on off button in case you don't want to deal with the clock programmable timer you just want to put the water and the coffee grounds in that's your on off button I 
just wanted to let it settle for a couple of minutes. Now for pouring, notice nothing comes out. That's what that lever is for. Just press it down and she comes out nice. Release. All right, you know, when I first tested it, it was a little bit more than that. It was like 170, but that was with the hot water during the test. It's about 10 degrees cooler when you actually use coffee grounds for some reason. And that's using the um, boldest setting. Very good. Bold. Got good temperature even after the milk. Once again, when I did the test, I was just using regular water. And I got it to like 170, I think maybe 175. But with the coffee, it pushed what, 165? I, to, I forgot now. <laughs> but it's still very warm. Not hot like you would from a percolator or even a cure egg, which I was impressed with, but that's pretty good. You see that little timer below the main time? That basically indicates how long it's been since the brew completed. And now I'll go all the way to, I believe, two hours. Yeah, it says it right on the box there. And I'm also going to test the temperature after two hours to see how well this therm is held in the heat. Okay, so let's check the temperature 120 minutes later. about 150 I'm just trying to make it to 155 but that's two hours later just want to see how the uh, brew basket looks yeah dispersed it evenly over the grounds normally you'd have like a little indentation in the center so that's gonna conclude this video hope you found it interesting hope it was helpful for anyone considering this unit or for folks who already own it and wanted to know how to set the clock and timer Please like the video, please subscribe, that definitely helps the channel out, and I thank you for watching.